I want to go over something here for brand new free to play players, especially um, on what you should be going for when it comes to starting a brand new account um, and what kind of weapons that that I'd recommend or, you know, something if you see that you get like, hey, yeah, this is a pretty solid, solid uh, look. It looks solid, you know, and I want to keep it. So I started a brand new account here and I'm, I made this account just to strictly help you guys. That way, you know, you can see how to do certain things if you're struggling with it. Because I have a lot of, all the experience of being a day one player. Um, and I, I know what's good and I know what, what's not good. So I already did did my polls. I did a, probably about five or six different re-rolls to make sure I got a good setup here. Or something that I know I'm going to be using. So when I saw that I had some of these good things, I was like, yeah, you know what? This account's good. It lacks one thing, which I'll go over. But for the most part, it's pretty solid. Mad Minute's a great weapon. It's not particularly really good on Lucia herself, but it's a great sub-weapon to throw on other characters. These two weapons, like Apology and Hell here and Zwayhander, you're going to get these automatically, so that's just part of the game. Edge Wings is arguably the best ice weapon. It, it, it is the best ice magic weapon in the game as of right now, so this was a great weapon to pull for Sephiroth. Highly recommend this weapon. Uh, Maritime Swords, also a fantastic weapon for Cloud. It's basically his water version of um, his big single target elemental attacks. So it's a really great weapon as well. It's got a sigil boost uh, that you're going to want to have weapons with sigil boost, just like Edge Wings has down here, you can see. But so this was this was really good. Sephiroth and Cloud are the two top tier damage dealers in the game right now. So it was fantastic that I pulled these. I was like, great. All I need is an AoE weapon for healing. Unfortunately, I didn't get a weapon that gives me good AoE heals, but you know what? That's okay because as it stands with what I have here, these are probably good. And these are not probably these are good enough to get me through a good amount of content in the game because there's a lot of enemies weak to water. Uh, Lightning is technically a little better because there are tends to be more enemies weak to that because of electric enemies tend to be weak to it. There's not as many enemies weak to water, but it's still solid. So that's not too bad. This one here, four point shuriken, not a bad weapon either. Um, if you end up pulling this uh, for Yuffie, it's 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 a good average weapon, something to throw on some other characters as a support weapon, which is good. Organics, not really what I was looking for, but it's it's nice in a sub slot because it does give me non elemental physical damage, so I keep that physical aspect applied. But it also has a stun chance, so that's kind of neat. Not stun chance won't work on bosses, but regular enemies and certain ones will be nice. And then this enhanced sword, this is a fantastic weapon to put on a sub slot for Sephiroth because. It's got the boost attack and it's got boost ice potency. So that'll just pair well, really well with the with the edge wings here. Now there's some other weapons uh, that I didn't get. I do have some healing options here. Lifeguard wraps, that's an AoE weapon that I would recommend trying to get if you can for Tifa, uh, if you don't get one. Prime number is another great healing weapon. But the number one you're going to want to go for uh, is for our girl Aerith because Aerith is the best character in the game just outright right now she has been since pretty much day one and so you i'll show you the weapon here the one i'd recommend uh that's red 13 not earth there we go would be this weapon right here the fairy tale fairy tale is an extremely powerful weapon it's very very good it really can't the only thing that can really keep up with it is the one that i showed you there from matt was the prime number so this is a fantastic weapon for Aerith. Aerith's a top tier healer. She is the top tier character in the game, in my opinion. She ha she has so many options here available to her as a support. She can also be a magic attacker. So those are kind of what I would recommend doing. You know, re-rolling for weapons that are going to focus on good things. So these 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 two right here, if you're using tickets, you're not going to be able to get this one yet right away, but very soon you'll have this in tickets. So depending on when you're watching this video, this weapon here, the Sky Splitter may be available to you. That's another great weapon um, for, for huge damage. In fact, Sky Splitter might even be better than some of these other ones because if you see here, it starts at a 480% damage, whereas this C Splitter as well as the Murasame start at a 400% damage. So that's, that's a big jump. Right, so and if you, especially if you max this weapon out, it goes up to 850, um, and whereas these ones, once they max out, they go up to 750. So it's actually more damage. I think the reason why it is stronger is one, there's the there's the added benefit of the power creep, but also the fact there's not as there's not really not that many enemies in the game as of right now that are weak to fire. So that would be a good one to pull though as well. If when depending on when you're watching this, um, I read. I mean, for for Sephiroth, you're pretty much already getting. 
what I was saying here, that edged wings, that's that's a big one. I'd, I'd probably say that'd be your main focus on, on that one for him. Um, and really, I would say more than anything, Cloud, Aerith, and Sephiroth are probably the main characters I would try to get his most focus on. Um, they are the best characters in the game. There's a big gap between them right now and the next character group of characters, which I would say is Tifa, Zack, and Lucia. They're they're solid and they do bring some cool things to the table, but they're not amazing, right? They're not a, they're not a unit you're going to use all the time. So if you're do, starting out fresh, brand new, I recommend re-rolling to get some good attack weapons, one for Sephiroth, one for Cloud, and then if you can, a healing weapon for Aerith. And also, a, a weapon for Zack wouldn't be a bad idea just because story mode. Because you're going to want to clear story mode first and foremost. When you start the game, story mode should be your main focus. Cl the more you clear story mode, the more content in the game you can unlock. That content will give you more crystals to do on things like polls and whatnot and, and allow you to clear more content. Obviously, the more content you clear, the more stuff you're going to get. So it's kind of a revolving door in a sense, right? So the more you do certain things, it unlocks things, it allows you to do more because you're going to get more from those things. So it's just a revolving door. So that's that's what you guys are definitely going to want to be focusing on. And if you need to learn how to reroll, I can show you really quick. It's very easy and simple. You're going to come down here and you're going to see where it's... You're just going to go back to the title screen. So just go to the bottom where it says title screen. And then when you get to the main thing here... You're going to come up here to the top right corner on the main, on the very title screen, essentially. And you're going to hit reset game data. It's going to ask you, hey, are you sure you want to do it? And then it's going to say, are you sure you sure you want to do it? And then you're going to say, yeah, dude, I've told you twice now. I want to do it. Let's go. You know, so that's what you're going to do. And then what's that's gonna, what that's going to do is it's going to start you from brand new, scratch, refresh. You know, if you have an account that's already good and you want to use two accounts, this is how you actually do it. You would actually, you can actually set up two accounts like I have, and you can, you can use both, um, on, both in Steam or on one on your phone, one on Steam, however you want to do it. You can swap them back and forth by using the leaked data. You just need to make sure that you link the data within the game itself first. And then what you do to re, to get back to that account is you'll use the link data here. Now I did, I do have a separate video. Video about that you can check out but as of right now um, I haven't linked the data yet which I, I should honestly do and I, I'll be doing that after this video because I like this setup I think it's good I think it's worth keeping so I'll go ahead and, and stick stick out with this this account so that should cover pretty much everything you guys need to know when starting the beginning of the game um, you know you're gonna come in here you're gonna get a bunch of tickets right now you can get about 40 tickets you're gonna come out here and do the draw uh, grab you know I don't have any tickets so the game says nope so do the tickets, get as many five stars as you can. Look at the five stars you get if you aren't familiar with them. All you have to do is, is when they pop up um, on the poll screen, you're just going to hold down the mouse, either the mouse click or the tap. It'll pull up this screen here and you can see the damage for it. Um, we or Our abilities we can kind of go into a little bit later because it, our abilities can get a little confusing. And I understand that. So you'll, you guys will pick that up. I'm sure most of you are pretty quick at that. But So yeah, I would say starting out early game, big damage. And then you're going to want to try to get an AoE heal. But at the very, very start of the game, if you don't get an AoE heal, it's really not the end of the world. But that is a recommendation because it's going to help with a ton of content later on. Actually, throughout the whole game. So, thank you guys for watching. Keep rocking. I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.